वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ अ इक्विलिब्रियम डायग्राम फॉर द टू मेटल्स व्हिच विल बी कंप्लीटली सॉल्युबल इनटू लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड स्टेट सो इट विल बी नथिंग बट इट विल बी नोन एज अ आइसोमॉर्फस सिस्टम्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द प्लॉटिंग ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम डायग्राम्स और यू कैन से face diagrams for the two metals generally it will be having a complete solubility into both the liquid and solid state so let us start take two metals so starting with metal a and metal b so which will be having a two different melting points suppose we are assuming that metal a which will be having a melting point around 1000 degree centigrade and metal b around 500 degree centigrade so for binary metals of a and b that will be having a different compositions points so let us see the different compositions of a and b so for different compositions of a and b just take a look and make a different samples so we are considering as a weight percentage of a and b so starting with the 100% a material so it will be considering as a pure metal of a then we will mix with the b so different samples like 90% a 10% b 80% a 20% b 70% a 30% 60% a 40% b 50% a 50% b 40% a 60% b 30% a 70% b 20% a 80% b 10% a 90% b and 0% a and 100% b so at one end that will be the 100% a and another end 100% b so from both the ends for metal a and b so it will be act as a pure metal because it will be having 100% a at the left side and 100% b from the right side so now we will take the different samples of the different compositions of a and b with respect to the melting point of a around 1000 degree centigrade and melting point of b around 500 degree centigrade so let's start to plotting of equilibrium diagrams of metal a and b which will be completely soluble into liquid and solid state so first of all just making a x axis and y axis so here x axis that will be representing as a weight percentage of compositions and this y axis it will be representing as a temperature in degree centigrade so first of all starting with the both the axis x axis and y axis so now according to the taken samples as a reference for plotting of equilibrium diagrams for isomorphous systems so here that will be the number of points just we discussing 100 90 80 70 up to the 0 so plotting plotting on to the x axis let us see so let's take a different point starting from the 100% a 90 80 70 60 50 40 30 20 10 and 0 and respect to that weight percentage of b for the making a alloy of the different compositions now for the axis y and that will be representing as a temperature axis so just you can take the readings from the highest melting point around 1000 degree so according to that temperature range you will make a scale so let us see 
similarly you will take a point onto the another ends so 1000 so 1000 800 600 400 and 200 so there will be the x axis and y axis now let's take a melting point of both the metal so for a that will be the 1000 so just you can look here for metal a so metal a and that will be the hundred percent side of the metal a so this point it will be the compositions and the point it will be the your melting points so here that will be the melting point of a so just you can note down melting point of a that will be the 1000 and according to the melting point b 500 so another end that will be the point of 100 percent b so that would be act as a pure metal as a b and 500 so just you can take a one point between 400 and 600 here so that will be 500 degree centigrade so it will be the melting point of b so first of all identifying the two points according to the pure metal of a and b so this point is over and this so both the ends right now i want to draw a cooling curve for the both the ends for a so that will be the pure metal so we already know about the cooling curve of pure metals if you want to learn in detail so you will find a link in my description box so for cooling curve at first point so just you can see so here that will be the liquid liquid plus solid and solid similarly from another end metal B which will be having a 500 melting point so here so it will be look like this so liquid here liquid plus solid and solid so two click cooling curves from both the ends for the isomorphous systems now i would like to interest to draw the cooling curve for each and every point which will be the consisting of the different compositions of a and b so let's take a look let's take another point at the middle of the weight percentage of a and b and that will be 50 percentage a and 50 percentage of b suppose i want to draw the cooling curve for 50 percentage a and b so here it will be the compositions of a and b that will be act as a binary alloy so the cooling curve for this it will be look like this so above this line it will be the 100 percent liquid in between this range that will be the liquid plus solid and above this it will be only 100 percent solid because both the metals a and b which will be having a hundred percent solubility with each other into the solid state as well as into the liquid state so this is the point i already explaining into the cooling curve of the binary alloy if you want to learn in details of this cooling curve so you will find a link in my description box then after i will also draw for the different cooling curves for the different points like 90 percent 20 80 70 percent 60 percent and rest of the others so let us start to draw So there will be the different cooling curves at the different points. 
so for each and every just you can see that will be the a point b point c point and d point so b point that will be the starting point of the solidification and c point always represent as a end point of the solidification process so from above of the b that will be the 100% liquid and below of the c that will be the 100% solid and in between that will be the liquid plus solid so this theory it will be applied for each and every cooling cause so just you can see that will be the b point so these all are the points that will be representing as a starting point of solidifications and similar with the c points so here that will be the point it will be the end point of the solidification processes so for different compositions of a and b that will be having a different points so now i would like to join these all the points and makes a one line which will be passing through the starting point of the solidification line and end point of the solidification line so let's see so just you can see above this line that will be for each and every cooling curve it will be having a liquid phase just you can see and below this line which will be passing through the end point of the solidification lines it will be the formation of 100% solids and in between for each and every compositions of a and b it will be the formation of liquid plus solid so that will be the formation of equilibrium diagram for isomorphous systems or two metals completely soluble into liquid and solid state so just you can see above of this line which will be passing through the starting point of the solidifications so above these lines it will be the formation of 100% liquid phase so this line it will be representing as a liquidus line and one more things this line which will be passing through the end point of the solidification line so below of this area so here it forms 100% solid so this line it will be representing as a solidus line so in between in general form of any compositions of a and b which will be having a 100% soluble into liquid and solid states so it forms liquid plus solid after plotting a liquidus line and solidus line with respect to the each and every cooling curve if you want to find a weight percentage of liquid and solid at a different set of conditions like a temperature with respect to the weight percentage of compositions so that will be all need to find with the help of lever arm rule so for understanding a lever arm rule let us start with the some more terminologies and we are taking the one point at around 50 percentage of a and 50 percentage of b so just you can take this point as a assumption point so from this composition line you will make a one vertical line which will be intersecting at solidus line and liquidus line to form the new points like p and q one more assumptions for the finding or you can say study about the lever arm rule so let's take a temperature range around 800 degree centigrade so for finding the weight percentage of solid and liquid at given set of conditions like 
फिफ्टी परसेंटेज ए फिफ्टी परसेंटेज बी एंड टेम्परेचर अराउंड एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो नाउ आई विल मेक वन हॉरिजोटल लाइन विच विल बी इंटरसेक्टिंग द लिक्विडस लाइन कंपोजिशन लाइन एंड सॉलिडस लाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट विल बी सॉलिडस लाइन दैन इट विल बी कंपोजिशन लाइन एंड लिक्विडस लाइन it might be change the conditions so that would be into the reverse so that would be also possible so by these temperature lines first of all it will be intersecting at solidus line then composition line and then liquidus line so this line or you can say this constant temperature line which will be intersecting these three lines which three solidus compositions and liquidus so it will be called as a tie line and the points representing as a x y and z so if you want to find the weight percentage of liquid and solid at this point so starting with the lever arm rule what it means it will be find out the weight percentage of liquid and solids so just you can take a projections from the point x and z to the composition lines so just you can see so almost if i am taking a reference as a compositions of b so here it will be around 82 percentage of b this point it will be representing as a 50 percentage of b and here that will be the 28 percentage of p so this point you can find from the composition line with respect to that intersecting point onto the solidus line then liquidus line so if you want to find weight percentage of liquid so for finding the weight percentage of liquid so what happens just you can take a reference from the solidus line or intersecting point at the solidus line so for weight percentage of liquid so you will take a chance towards the solidus line so here that will be the x point which will be representing as a intersecting point of the solidus lines so just you can take the distance xy up to this and divided by total x z so that will be multiplied by the 100 so here for x y distance so that will be 50 minus 28 divided by 82 minus 28 into 100 so that will be around 40.74 percentage of liquid and if you want to find weight percentage of solid so just you can take the side of the intersecting from the liquidus so from here so that will be the distance from the intersecting from the composition line so y z divided by total into 100 so y z means y to z so 82 minus 50 divided by 82 minus 28 into 100 so that will be the 59.26 percentage of solid otherwise we will also find with the help of 100 minus of this so that will be definitely it will be the weight percentage of solid so this is the lever arm rule which will be help to finding the weight percentage of liquid and solid with the different set of conditions like uh, compositions and temperature So I hope you understand this. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.